Hi guys. So in last section we created user group and membership. So we have created user called Ramesh. We have created user Ramesh Kumar and assign and created group called block poster. If you go there, we created user called block poster. Okay, which who are ex uh, member of this group can post the blocks, and we have assigned this user. We created membership between user Ramesh and block block poster. You go there. Ramesh is part of user group and Ramesh is part of block poster. So now how will uh, now we'll update our our block application with authorization. So we go to design and controller block. So what I done here, so the user which is part of block poster can post the, post the block and to view the post you should require login, you have to be login to the website and you want to update the block you should be part of block poster group so now we'll see this application so i just sign out and now we'll go to block and block controller controller name is block and view view name is view you click it will redirect to login page so without login you can't so you just log in now you can view the records now you want to go to post since Ramesh is part of post you can post the block similarly same user is part of block poster then you can update the record also see update is space is opening now what we'll do we just sign out log out and we create a, another user login sign up suppose we create a user called Suresh Kumar s.k8 gmail.com put some password and we can sign up so by default any user is created is part of user group so when you want to view the record now we we have login with Suresh so now you go and block and view You will able to view their post but when you try to want to post any record it will get no authorized because you are, you are not part of the group called block poster similarly if you go to log update sorry log log and update so it will also give not authorized to update any record 
so this we can we this way we can control the access to any user thank you